What's up guys, you asked for it and we're gonna deliver. And that is the best mashed potato recipe you have ever had, well, our opinion. So we're gonna go ahead and make that for you guys. First time making it for ourselves. Yeah. We just got the recipe from my mother and we're gonna do it. We're gonna show you guys how to do it and we'll leave the recipe down below as well. Let's get to it. So the first thing you have to do is peel five pounds of potatoes um, it kind of evens out to around 10 potatoes, give or take. But guess what, guys? These are authentic, genuine Idaho potatoes. So let's get to peeling. All 10 potatoes are all peeled. Now Lacey's actually gonna cut them in fours. Mm -hmm. That way they cook a little bit faster. Okay guys, so now what you do is you fill up the pot, or pots in our case, because we don't have a big enough pot to, f yeah, whatever. Anyway, you fill it up uh, so it covers all the potatoes and leaves about an inch or two of extra water above the potatoes. And then you bring it to a boil and let it boil for about 20 to 25 minutes. Yes. Let's get it. So while that's boiling, we're gonna do a separate bowl and put in two sticks of butter, sour cream, cream cheese, salt, garlic powder and paprika. Is that everything? Pepper. And paprika. So next you just check them, make sure they're cooked all the way through, which they're falling apart, so that's a good sign. Now the secret to get really, really creamy, smooth mashed potatoes is a ricer. So you wanna put those cooked mashed potatoes through a ricer on the small setting like that. So now you take all the mashed potatoes and you mix it with the sour cream, pepper, butter, garlic, butter all that sauce stuff, whatever. Pour it in there. Boom. Mm. We stir it like so. So while Lacey is mixing all that together, I'm gonna go ahead and get a stick of butter and we're going to butter the casserole dish, just like this. So just butter it on the bottom, get it all nice and buttery, because we all know more butter, the better. So after you mix it, it should look like this, nice and smooth. You don't wanna over mix, so you don't wanna use a, a KitchenAid or anything like that th on this part, because mm -hmm. you're, you can over mix it, over blend it, uh, and it's when you rice the potatoes, it's already pretty much mashed. And then what you do is you actually put a little bit of half and half in there. Um, you kinda just pour a little bit um, as needed until you get the right consistency. So we're just gonna put a little bit in there and then stir it until you get the consistency that you're looking for. It's, it calls for about three fourth cup of half and half, but maybe do a fourth a cup at a time, or just kind of pour in as you think until it gets that really nice, smooth consistency that you desire. Mmm, perfect. I put about two more tablespoons of sour cream in there, some more salt, garlic powder. That's perfect. <laughs> And because there's not enough butter, you're actually going to take some butter and slice it thin and kind of layer on top of the pan. After that, you're gonna sprinkle paprika all over it, just like that. Wrap it with some foil 
and throw in the oven for 15 minutes on 400 degrees. <laughs> So now you take off the foil and put it back in, uncovered, for 10 more minutes. Okay, it is finished and it looks fantastic. You can dress it up with a little bit of parsley if you want, a little more paprika, whatever you want to do. But let's go ahead and taste it. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm. Now that's how potatoes should taste. Yeah. Well guys, thanks for hanging out with us as we tried the best mashed potato recipe in the entire world, in our opinion. Try it. We'll leave the <laughs> ingredients down below, courtesy of my mother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Absolutely. And enjoy your day however you are celebrating. And we'll see you guys next week. And we're very thankful for you as yes, well. Yes. Faux show. That goes without saying. <laughs> All right, see you guys.